The News for Jack's I team is looking for answers after a man's body was found in a fire at an already embattled Jacksonville strip club. This was the scene at Beach and Southside Boulevards earlier this morning. Firefighters put out the flames at Mascara's Gentleman's Club, and as they did that, they discovered a man's body in a storage closet. Detectives say they're waiting for an autopsy to help with their investigation, but a property manager says it's believed a homeless person broke in to get out of last night's cold. This brings new attention to the club, which city council, city council members have been trying to shut down, claiming it's a public nuisance. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci takes us through this investigation and how city leaders hope to shutter the business for good. This is where the fire was. It's in the back of the Mascara's complex. It's a storage room. It's also where first responders found that man's body overnight. Now, I want to point this out because detectives were looking at it very closely. You can see it is a small propane tank with an attachment that people use when they're camping to light and heat an area. That possibly could have caused this fire, which led to the man's death. And as investigators piece together this mystery, it brings mascaras back into the spotlight as two Jacksonville City Council members lead the charge to try to shut down the Gentlemen's Club. Hundreds of calls. Councilman Kevin Carrico and Matt Carlucci spoke to us today saying they are inundated with complaints from the community with at least six people shot here in nine years. They can't sleep. There's too much noise and there's gunshots and gunfire. Some would say, how can the government shut down a business? It's tricky. So we passed legislation that basically tries to declare it an, a nuisance. So if it's a public nuisance, it, it somehow adversely affects the quality of life in the neighborhood. We can try to track those things. Council recently passed a bill for the city to investigate crime and code enforcement problems on the property. That information will go to a newly formed nuisance abatement board. A lot of times these things start in the club, but they finish in the parking lot or down the road. So we can't necessarily say that they happened at Mascara's, even though to, to anyone with common sense, that's the genesis of the problem right there. Mascara's is registered under Thomas Schumann, who also runs Wacko's and other adult clubs. Managers here argue that they are making improvements. They've upgraded lighting and security and are working with the community. And to make matters even more complicated, right now, several of the local adult entertainment club's owners are suing the city of Jacksonville against city oversight. That is an appeals court. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.